I want to give you a an example of a couple more problems that we could do. What about a rocket? I love talking about rockets, right? What about a rocket who's sitting there on the launch pad with 10,000 joules of chemical potential energy? Can you tell me how high the rocket's going to go? I start out with 10,000 joules of chemical potential energy, and I launch that rocket, and I get up here, all that chemical potential energy becomes gravitational potential energy, right? So then I know that my gravitational potential energy is going to equal 10,000 joules if energy is conserved. If energy is conserved, then the CPE is going to turn into GPE. If I know what the GPE is and I know what the mass of the rocket is, can I find the height? Yes, because GPE is equal to MGH, and solving this equ uh, equation for H, I get GPE divided by MG. Well, if GPE equals CPE, <laughs> CPE, and if CPE equals 10,000, then H is going to equal the mass of the rocket times 9.8. And this is the equation for finding the height. So 10,000 divided by what you just said, dividing out gravity. And also including the mass of the rocket. Right? So you need the mass. Well, yeah, because mass is included with your GPE. So if I take 10,000 divided by the quantity of 10 times 9.8, then the rocket is going to go 102 meters high. 